Hello. Today I would like to talk about a medical problem which affects millions of people around the globe and for which there seems to be no successful treatment. I'm talking about tinea, also known as foot rot or athlete's foot. Tinea is a parasitic fungus which lives between people's toes and eats their skin. Once you have it, it can be really hard to get rid of. However, there is a traditional treatment which does help. In certain soils, at certain times, there lives a small organism which eats the tinea fungus. If you know where these places are, you can go and pick up some soil, apply it to your feet, and the organisms will kill the fungus and clean the wound. These organisms are very precise. They will kill the tinea fungus without attacking any of the living tissue of the infected person. Once the wound is clean, it can heal. You can actually feel how the burning itch slowly disappears and the foot becomes comfortably cool. The whole procedure, the whole treatment, is completely painless. Of course, if you live in an urban environment or you don't know where to go, then this soil can be very hard to find. But fortunately, this natural process is very easy to copy. However, there are some requirements to get the natural process started. You should have access to a patch of soil or a patch of grassy area about one meter square. That's about three foot. The first thing we have to do is to make our soil. If you live in the suburbs and you have a yard to mow, you already have your source material, grass clippings. Collect your clippings and put them into a pile. This should be enough for one treatment, but the more you can collect, the better. Now we need it to decompose. To start the process, we water it thoroughly. I'm using the jet so the water goes right into the core of the torch of the of the heat. How long it takes to decompose depends on the weather. Summertime will give you the fastest results. And remember, the process needs moisture, so it's a good idea to water it every day. Now we let it sit and let nature do its work. We'll check on it again in about three weeks time. In the meantime, we keep it well watered. This is two to three weeks later, and remember to force the water right in so it gets moisture right through. Okay, three months have passed now, and our pile of grass clipping has shrunk to perhaps 5% of its original volume. And that means that the earthworms have done their job. So let's see if we can find what we're looking for. Okay, this is what we want. This is fully active now. You still find little worms in it. They're supposed to be there, so if you find some, put them back in the soil. It feels like uh, a little bit like Play-Doh, but it's more slimy. Here again, another worm. We put him back because they're very important. So have a good look at it so you get an idea. Um, when your grass pile is ready, so you know what it looks like. Another little worm. And um, so all that's left for me to do is to show you how to apply it, and that's easy. What we need is somewhere to sit, we need our earth, and I have an optional bucket of water, and an optional newspaper. Now, i show you how to put it on. So we take our soil, about that much, and then squeeze it, rub it, between your toes. Make sure it, um, it's rubbed right in, of course. Wash your feet first. That is probably obvious. And um, so 
squeeze that in like that make sure it touches everywhere and see how that sticks if there are still earthworms in it take them out treat them with respect and put them back in the soil because they are responsible for making our soil okay and if you have both feet obviously squeeze it into both feet rub it right in between the toes because the microorganisms which do the job they need the contact this is very important so if you can follow that make a mold cover them well again if you find earthworms here's a little one just put it back in the soil into your lawn or whatever and so make sure your, your toes are well covered so the amount I gave you that uh, ball I made should be enough for two feet easy probably enough for two applications actually so and that's basically it now you have to sit there for at least one hour preferably two and that's where the newspaper comes in and the bucket of water because I'm gonna have to wash my hands and sitting here in my backyard is quite boring so I brought a newspaper of course you can also do it in your living room but don't forget to put some plastic down because it's rather messy for the treatment to be successful you should cover your feet at least one hour per day two hours would be better and continue the treatment for about a week by then all the tinea should be dead and healing can start. After each treatment, collect the soil, put it back into a bowl and then put it back onto the heat and cover it up and keep it moist. This way uh, the healing soil stays active for many weeks. If you don't have access to grass clippings, all is not lost. There is an alternative which is available to most of us. You can collect your plant-based kitchen scraps and save them in a compost pile or a compost bin such as this one. The kitchen scraps will decompose just like the grass clippings and they will produce a similar soil. The application is the same. But here's a word of warning. Do not throw meat onto the compost. Decomposing meat produces a dangerous poison which will contaminate the soil. It cannot be used. And here I will leave you in the hope that I have been of some help.